Hi again. Um, right now we're going to make a bushing. We're going to make the brass bushing we use in our beginning mechanical class. Uh, we're we're going to do a couple of things here real quick though. I'm going to do this with extrusions. You can also do this with a revolve, but for right now, just to keep it simple and straightforward, we're going to do it with extrusions, which means I'll be using the press pull tool press pull tool again. All right, so stay with us and here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is start a sketch on a surface. I'm just gonna pick that one. And because this thing is circular, I'm gonna start right on the origin, drag it out. The inside diameter of this is one inch. The outside diameter of this is, new circle, is one and a half inches. Okay, so one point, actually, I gotta double check that, but I'm doing this from memory. So we're gonna go with 1.75 and if I have to change that later, I will. Okay. Um, once I've got that first part of my sketch done, I'm just going to close that up and I'm going to come over here to the press pool, click on this shape right there, and I'm going to tell that to go a grand total of an eighth of an inch. Now, next thing, I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to start a new sketch. I'm going to pick on this surface right here and I'm going to put a circle right there in the origin of that and bring it out like this. Now, this needs to be 1.5. Okay. Um, if that, I'm doing this from memory, so bear with me. So I don't know if I need to offset and create a circle there like I would an inventor. We're going to see if it does, if it works right here. So I'm going to go with my press pull tool again. I'm going to pick this area right here. Good. It doesn't seem to be needing that. I'm going to tell that to go 0.75. Okay. Well, it should take. Boom. There it is. Now, one thing I have not considered in this is... In Inventor, we assign materials um, because we can actually do the analysis. And I'm assuming we can do the same thing here. So the problem is right here, I'm looking at my body right here, and I'm looking at it, and I've got no materials attached to it. I can go here, though, and I should be able to attach materials. So if I click on that, beautiful. It pops up the menu over here. I can come down here to Metal, and I can go down and look through this. Now, here's the deal. A bushing in this case would not be made of aluminum or steel. It needs to be a softer metal. This would actually be a brass um, or a bronze. And I'm going to use a soft yellow brass right there. Okay. Well, how do I apply it? Oh, apparently like that. Okay. I was trying to decide how that was supposed to work. So I've assigned a metal to it and I'm good to go. Now, a couple of things here. I'm not liking this. So if I go back to this sketch right here, let's go back to my first sketch and edit it. Can I edit my first sketch? Apparently I'm unable to. Um, that shoulder should be deeper, but you know, we'll figure that out later. So cancel what I'm doing. Okay, so we'll just save this and I'm gonna call it and this is called bushing. Okay, that should be all it takes to do this, and it's good to go. We'll get to the supports, and then hopefully into assemblies. As I'm looking through our list of possibilities here, um, I've got to do an assembly of it somewhere. Um, so I'm hoping I can assemble this thing. I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to work, but we're going to figure that out very shortly. Okay, uh, thanks for your time. Bye.